Do you want to do that? What? Do you want to give me a heart attack? Uh, this helps me get rid of my heart attack. To audio listeners, I'm taking the big old dice that we have and I'm throwing it. But I'm going to stop because it does give my wife a heart attack. Mm-hmm. And she will die and she will go to the hospital and they'll say, what happened? I'll be like, she had a heart attack. And I'll be like, why? Because I was throwing a big old dice around. And it, and it did. And they're like, oh my God, did it land directly onto her face? And it what? Oh, supposed- yeah. No, that's fine. It's just a little. It's just- is it supposed to be doing that? Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> the audio was looking a little funky, guys. Like Sorry. Funky. <laughs> I was a little zoomed in. <laughs> Sorry about that. Uh, they they will ask what happened and all the dice it was the dice and they'll say oh, did it land on her head and they'll be like no mm-hmm. it actually landed in my hand she yeah. just couldn't handle the stress and they're like of a dice they're like I mean yeah it was this big yeah and they'll be like holy shit that you're you're no, wow you're insane I'll be like, Wait, you're insane and I'm like whoa whoa are, are you serious I just did this and, and, then and they're, they're like sir die. stop and they then die. one person faints and I'm like oh, I'm sorry I'm sorry and then they arrest me and I go to jail for seventy years mm-hmm. no I think you'd get off I don't think they I don't think they can get you for that get off <laughs> in jail mm-hmm. I hope so I mean maybe. <laughs> You're pretty cute. Um, do, what? 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 Wait, okay, hang on. <laughs> You're implying that I would think I am so attractive that I would get off to my own no, self. No, I mean, you'd find a little... I'd find a mirror and be like, oh, yes, No, I mean, you'd find, a, you'd find a friend in jail. Yeah. Oh, well, I don't know about that. I don't know. You're pretty cute. I, I don't know if you always have a choice in it. <laughs> That's true. All right. Uh, I guess we'll make friends in jail. Could they make a Stardew Valley, but like you're in jail? Yeah, it's called... Well, actually, that's a thing. It's like prison simulator or something. Really? Yeah. Is it wholesome? No. Probably not. Well, it is jail, I think, I think so... You get, I think you get shivs and stuff. Yeah. Which, honestly, it looks almost... Here, let me pull it up. Craig's got, Look it up. Craig's got the deets. All I know, because when I was like a kid, uh, Jack Septic guy played it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I um I was never there for watching Markiplier and Jack Septic guy. And yeah. I guess I should say guys. when I was a kid, I may have been like... In my I mean, that was like a little while ago. Um, I <laughs> There's a video. I don't think I should say this, but oh well. Um, Tyler found a video that I had made in high school that is on YouTube. And we do not have the login to the account anymore because the YouTube account associated with it was associated to one of our Google accounts that was associated with my high school. And uh, that account has been deleted. So mm-hmm. it is on the internet forever unless I... Oh, wow. Okay. Give me that pudding. Yeah, yeah it's called. Give me that pudding. Uh, Should that happen? It is Stardew Valley, yeah, but in prison. It's called the Escapist. We were trying to get out of prison. Well, that's fun. At least there's a goal. Yeah. But it does kind of, <laughs> kind of look like Stardew Valley. Huh? Sorry. I was roasting Stardew Valley. Again. Yeah. I apologize. What's the furthest you've ever gotten in the game, huh? Hang on. Wait, wait. Let's go back to what I was talking about. I don't about. think we should. Because I know uh, what's on that channel. Yeah. No, no, no. It's the only video. Okay. Yeah. Okay, different thing. Then. Yeah, I'm different not. Uh, maybe one day I'll show everybody, but it's there, and I'm hoping nobody finds it. <laughs> but if you guys do find it, I don't. Th- I have not watched it. Tyler just told me it's there, and I couldn't handle the cringe. It was oh, uploaded no. in 2014, so um, I just went nah. And I think Jordan is in it too, because that's when he was my English teacher, and he was also like, "Yeah, I'll be in this video with you guys." So um, yeah, uh, that's that's out there. Um, there's, there's actually a lot of stuff out there. I used to have a YouTube channel when I was 12 and, uh, 13 years old where I made Legend of Zelda abridged Mm -hmm. videos where I was just, I would just voice over parts of like Legend of Zelda and like, I thought it was funny. It was not. I deleted it when I got to high school because I didn't want to be bullied relentlessly. <laughs> what a weird thing to be bullied. What a, what, a, what a first world problem. It was. I mean, I Could was. I was a scared thirteen year old. So I was like, I'm I was getting rid of this. Was by you going from homeschool to real school anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So so valid though. Valid. valid. And I don't even want to know what level of cringe like those were. Like they were probably um, terrible. And like literally, I was twelve. So well, I'm not. I'm not. I'm not gonna worry about that. And then Logan and I made a channel in high school. That we played video games on, and I don't think either of us can remember the login to that account. And then Logan and I, terrified, went and watched all of them, like, like a year ago. And, like, we're safe. They're just cringy. So, like, and by safe, I mean, like, I don't think, it's not like Logan and I were, like, being dicey in the past or anything. We were just scared that maybe we had said something that we didn't realize may have been, uh, like, uh, uh, probably bad 
to say yeah. mm-hmm. or some people would have thought was was not very good. Things that didn't um, age well. Yeah, things that probably didn't age yeah. well either because like we were 15 and 16 and we didn't know what the fuck we were doing. Yeah. So like w- somebody, I think somebody found it and we were like, is this Logan and Jake? And we were like, oh shit. And we watched all of them and we were like, okay, we're good. And we're like, do you know the log into this account? And he's like, nope. no. And I was like, oh well, that's just there forever. <laughs> I, so, I bet there has to be some kind of YouTube rap where you're like, can we just fucking control it? Can I, we get rid of it? Yeah, Please. I think you can. I just, it's a lot, it sounds like a lot of work. Mm-hmm. And it's just cringy. So, yeah. like, it's whatever. It's were, there you now. You guys were wholesome little guys. Yeah, we were just playing Skyrim and Fallout New yeah. Vegas and just being stupid. So, yeah. like, that's all we were doing. But, like, yeah, anytime anything comes up from when I was, like, a kid, it I panic because, like, like, because I don't know. I don't remember. Like, what if I said something really bad? And then um, it turns out I didn't. That's good. Yeah. And everything's fine. Yeah. So, wow. yep. And that's it. Nothing. I never did anything bad ever again. Again? He lied to us. He, wait, what he do you, said uh, something. Hang on. Wait, what do you know? I know everything about you. That is, that is true. Yep. Yeah. Did I... Wait, did I do something? Hmm. I don't know if you deserve to know. <laughs> oh my god, <laughs> that's how bad it was. You don't blackmail? get to know the thing. Yeah. Blackmail, <laughs> generic a, blackmail, generic blackmail. Look at this. Yeah, um, there was something we were talking about before this. Before I was talking about YouTube stuff, and then I went on to this tangent of YouTube. Hmm. I just want to let you know that um, while being pregnant, the second something leaves my brain, I can never ever remember what Dang. it was. Like the other day, I got off the couch, walked into our room, and I was like. I don't know why I got off the couch. And you were like, yeah. that sucks, guy. And I was like, I don't know why I'm in here. It's kind of funny. But I was it's mad. Like you're a sim. Because I, I, <laughs> yeah. I remember being so like incredibly yeah. motivated to get off the couch and go do something. And I was like, I have no idea why I'm here. Yeah. Fuck. Uh, shit. We were talking about, what the fuck were we talking about? This is. I, that was a tangent. I know. Yeah. I'm sorry, guys. This is a fucking you horrible could, podcast. You could to go back to. and show me the start of this video, and I wouldn't. I'd be like, I didn't say that. We're talking about prison simulators. Stardew, Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley. I was memeing on Stardew Valley. You, a yeah, bit. you being mean. Yeah, but uh, we can stop there with that. Man, I don't know. We were talking about something. Uh, what were we talking about at the beginning of this? I, you. You being cute. You, you well that that do you you go into prison. <laughs> you go yeah. into prison. But because you were forced people to faint by using that dice. Oh yeah. Yeah. I don't know. That Sorry was, okay. guys. It's th- gone this forever. was literally seven minutes ago. Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's not a whole lot well, to recap. Well, now that we've recapped the podcast. <laughs> Great guys. Glad Great, you're here. Good Thanks job. for joining. Um, what do you want to do now? Mm. Is it too early to talk about? About the balls? balls in the room. I know there's a lot of questions about it, so I know that there's a lot of people who are going to ask us questions. Yeah, ah. maybe so maybe we just go through maybe questions, we bust out the questions, or we could just talk about Legend of Vox Machina now. I'm not sure about this. I mean, no way. It's spoilers. I was. I, I would say spoilers. The like, episode. Like, I know I'm already naming the episode. There's only only three episodes out. Like, yeah. go watch it. Just go yeah. watch it. Go watch it. An hour and a half. Your life. Do you, do you know it's worth cool? it. It's an hour and a half. Think about the fact that we literally get a Vox Machina, like 90 minutes yeah. of a Vox Machina movie basically every week. Yep. Isn't yeah. that fucking awesome? Yeah. It is. That is so is. sick. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, in Here. case you guys didn't know, we fucking loved it. It was amazing. Yeah. I loved it, at least. I don't mm-hmm. want to speak for you guys, but I, I absolutely love it. Um, it's great. It's it's funny. It's, uh, it's it's everything. It's everything I wanted, and I'm, I, I'm really excited for to see more of it. So... Um, guess I'm the only one talking about it. Cool. So yeah. I will just jump into <laughs> questions here. It I seemed suppose. like you wanted to say more there. I did so. not. I was. That's why I looked at you directly in the eyeballs because I was like, <laughs> I was, I was, in, I was like right. trying to, I was trying to like telekinesis. I was yeah, like, I don't have now that. you talk about that. it. No, now you. Okay, no, yeah, I, mean, I really, I really liked it. I haven't seen most of uh, campaign one, so it's it's like a little treat because mm-hmm. I don't have. I don't have the... After we watched it, she didn't tell... She told me, she's like, I don't know anything about No Mercy Percy. And I was like... No, that's not true. I do. I don't know what he made a deal with. Uh, I assume it's a deal of some sort. I don't know who it is or what it is. Because, like, particularly this version of Percy, which I think the community calls No Mercy Percy. Yeah. That's what I was going to say. That's what it is. It's so your, like... Yeah. You could not I've, be more targeted audience. I was going to say, I was like, how yeah. do you not know about this? Oh yeah, my God. I don't know what it is. I know, 
I know some of the terrible shit that they all do, but oh, I don't. Then, I don't know then, why. Then, then we not only can't spoil it for the for the listener, but we can't spoil it for you either. No, I'd like We're to. Not going I'd to like spo- to find Cause, out. Because that own. is so cool. Yeah. We, so here's. Let's keep to this rule at least for the podcast. God. Let's not. Sp- what? I keep thinking, I keep thinking, <laughs> Balls. Balls. <laughs> this is really. It's really distracting. Um, Just don't look him in the eyes, and you'll be. Okay. <laughs> it's hard not to. <laughs> Uh, so let's, let's keep to this then. Yeah. Let's, yeah. So you and I have watched campaign one. Yes. Um, let's not spoil anything that isn't in the first three episodes of Legend of Vox. Yeah. 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 Agreed, um, agreed, agreed. there are a couple of things they foreshadowed at things that they hinted at in the future, things that exist that are probably going to be in future episodes that I, yeah. I, me and Craig know what they are yeah. and I'm very excited for those, but We'll not talk about that. We'll just talk about what was in the first three episodes. Cool. Yeah. Cool. This is also think it sounds weird to say, but this is probably going to be some people's first encounter with campaign one. Yeah. That, We're and that's in campaign awesome. three. They, they may have never even seen Mighty Nine. Yeah. We may have someone just going, I love campaign three critical role. And I mm-hmm. heard that they've campaign one has a, has a TV has show. A, yeah. has a TV show about it. How cool is that? I keep seeing people on TikTok are like, yo, what show is this? And people are like this. And they're like, okay, I'll check it out. And I'm like, oh, this is, this yeah, is cool. Oh, wow. This is going to rock crazy, your world. Crazy, I just can't I saw imagine. Matt, so I saw a fucking stupid meme on Twitter where people, it, it's like that, it's the drowning, it's the mom with the baby and and they're like helping them swim and then there's the baby who's drowning off to the right and it's like, it's Critical Role, they're the mom and it's like, it's like Vox Machina and then it's Mighty Nine drowning in a corner <laughs> and then at the bottom of the pool as a skeleton is Essek. <laughs> And it's funny, but like I think I think, and I was like, whatever, what it's stupid. They've been working on this for forever. But like, mm-hmm. um, <laughs> I think Matt probably saw it because he like tweeted about uh, about it, and he was like, people are thinking that we're just focusing on Vox Machina for some reason, as if like we didn't work on this for a long time, and maybe in the future we'll have oh, the ability to also, do this with Mighty Nine. How many campaign one like really high end model characters do we have? Zero. Zero. We got like what one Vax like hoodie. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, we have so many really nice like figurines from Campaign Two. Yeah. What we have Ford, we have Molly Mock, we have Bo. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I feel like the Jester. I mean, we like just to be fair, we do of have pops of Vox Machina, but like it's They're not the same. doing like like statues of the characters. Yeah, we have the Molly. Mock yeah, one. we have the Molly Mock Beautiful. one. It's very and then pretty. the pops came out. At like what the tail end of two finishing up anyway so no way those are all on the way yeah yeah, yeah. It, like all of the people getting who got in via campaign two like don't realize like it's the exact same cycle because when campaign two started they went full ass into mighty nine yeah. and it, yeah. it was the opposite it was like they were it was like okay cool they just left vox machina on the wayside we're never going to see anything yeah. from them again and now we're getting like this renaissance of vox machina which is awesome yeah for me like who that's how i got into critical role and it's it's really cool to see that again so like they're, they're gonna go back and forth y'all they're they're not just focusing on one goddamn thing and um if vox machina goes well like maybe we'll get an animated mighty nine show and that would be oh, i hope so so sick so, I so. yeah I, i'd be hyped for that mm-hmm. could you imagine uh, nope i'm not gonna spoil anything. some of my most favorite characters on campaign too so it's like i i would love nothing more than that right yeah, yeah i would love nothing more than that um so the first question we got today is from Clove, who says, do it fart. Hmm. <laughs> it I do. I don't know. I, guess it could. <laughs> I don't know. I, yeah, I don't know. It could. Ruben Anthony asks, how do you guys feel about the Spirit Bard subclass? Uh, I, I don't know. It's I don't know. Cool. I think it's cool that you can like, 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 like the instruments like moved playing. on to a Ouija board. Oh, I love the Spirit Bard subclass. I think it's very, very cool. I like that you have... I, I like classes that give you kind of like random abilities. Mm-hmm. So I like Wild Magic Sorcerer, and I like the Alchemist subclass. <laughs> and I, I like that the the Bard one is just like, well, let's see what new story I can tell today to mm-hmm. like have magical stuff. Like I think the flavor there is really yeah, fun. Yeah, it's fun. I want, that's what I want to play for uh, Wild Beyond the Witchlight when Colton mm-hmm. runs it. I want to play... A halfling spirits bard. But we shall see. Maybe I'll change my mind before we get there. But I've been really liking that idea. Are we going to play siblings in that game? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, that's right. I have have an idea, but to be honest, I have a lot of ideas right now because I'm trying to think about... No, not not for any particular reason, but for like a backup for like Icewind Dale. Just Mm -hmm. because I think I've been thinking about Icewind Dale a lot recently. Yeah. So I'm like, do I want this to be the backup or this to be the backup? Or this? Yeah, or this. I have some cool ideas. I'm really excited. Yeah. No. Um, Weasley65 asks, uh, what are y'all's thoughts on the Vox Machina show, and why are we all simping for Lady Briarwood? All right, so I guess we can just start there. So, oh, first. First. Before we talk about 
you know, the last part of that question. Yeah. Just our general thoughts about Vox Machina. I think we did kind of talk about that a little bit, but we, we could go into a little more detail here if you, if you um, guys want to. Yeah. I think all my expectations were met. Yeah, me and too. And maybe surpassed a little bit. So I, I didn't... So I, I've repeated this to everybody already, so I'm just repeating it again for the last time on the podcast. Um, but this is just kind of the culmination of my thoughts. I think I'm really in, like, I've well, the only shows I've been watching lately have been, like, these Disney, Marvel, Star Wars shows, yeah. which, in my opinion, are really slowly paced. And not, like, in the slow burn sense. Like, there's a lot of scenes of characters just walking like Loki, and talking. Like Loki, entirety of it. Like Loki. Terrible. And a couple episodes of Boba Fett have been that way. I'm not saying the show's bad. We haven't really caught up on Boba but Fett yet. we are yet. saying Loki's bad. But yeah, Loki. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Falcon and the Winter Soldier even was kind of like, yeah. there'd just be some scenes. And WandaVision was the same. WandaVision kind of kept it up pretty well. Um, there's another show that, like, we watched too, and I can't remember what it was. Um... Am I just forgetting? I don't know. Mm. But like, I'm just sort of used to that now. Like the family friendly, slow kind of eight episode, hour long each episode, sort of slow uh, Disney show. And Vox Machina is the exact opposite. Mm -hmm. And I expected that from the D&D &D campaign that is for the most part family friendly. Uh, and they've branded themselves that. I no. did not expect to see Scanlan's balls within the first episode. And, like, it's quick, it's fast, and it's fucking violent, too. Which was, like, took me by surprise. I love it. Mm -hmm. One of my favorite... My my favorite anime is Attack on Titan, and it's kind of given me vibes a little bit from like mm -hmm. Attack on Titan, but also Castlevania too, which yeah. I also love. And that would be like my only complaint is that it was really fast paced, but I kind of liked it. Like they're they're really they're not they're not putting the brakes. Like they're just fucking going, and it's really exciting to watch. It's just really cool, and mm -hmm. I I was blown away. I was just absolutely blown away. Yeah, I agree. I, I think now that we're out of the first three episodes, going to slow down a little bit, but yeah. not in like a, we watch Loki and Sylvie walk uh, a thousand miles after jumping off a train. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, no, I don't intend to agree with that. I think yeah. it's going to slow down a little bit for sure. Yeah. Mm -hmm. For sure. Once we get to um, I think those, White, Whitestone. Yeah. yeah. And especially like, because there are so many, no spoilers, but there are a lot of heartfelt moments in like the future of the campaign. I really do hope they slow down and savor those moments a yeah, little bit. Yeah, they're, they're, de they're definitely hinting at some, so ro some romances in there. Yeah, I, I, to be honest, it'll be interesting to see them kind of retroactively go backwards and insert things that aren't there as well. Mm -hmm. um, not that we know because the parts of episodes are before the actual broadcast yeah. mm -hmm. actually aired. Um, but like, someone catching someone else's thing and like already making hard eyes kind of mm -hmm. stuff. Yeah. And I wonder if they're going to really lay that groundwork a lot. So I wonder how many scenes we're going to get that weren't even in that, mm -hmm. but like the group is like, Oh, wouldn't it be really cool? Cause like they're kind of playing D and D in reverse again. They're like, yeah. Oh, wouldn't it be really cool if like our characters did that? I wonder if they're like, well, let's, let's just storyboard it. Let's just have Matt sit down and we just play a small little thing yeah. of our D and D game and see what we would do. Yeah. And then that'd be kind of interesting. interesting. I saw a picture on Twitter of like the comparison between, the game of where Vax was in the room with the Briarwoods mm -hmm. yeah. versus the scene. And it's like, it looks the exact same. It's just like yeah. minis in that room. Oh yeah. And then the animated scene is verbatim and it's just no so... way. They aren't just taking pictures of the stream and going, these yes. are the storyboards. Yeah. No way they're not. Mm -hmm. That's so fucking cool. Mm -hmm. Like that is, um, I, this is something really special. And like, that's yeah. like you said, like, um, I think I'd give it a nine out of 10, but round it up because it's what it is. Yeah. Um, and I agree with that. Like yeah. it, it, that's exactly what it is. Mm. So, um, at least for me, do we want to maybe move on to the second part of that question? Um, sure. Yeah. They're both hot. Both of them. We were talking about this right before we went to bed and I was just like, you know, I get why people like, mm -hmm. you know, them, uh, the Briarwoods. And yep. I get why people are attracted to vampires, mm -hmm. like, especially you and yeah. like, it's just not my thing. I don't know. I, I what just, did you, what did you call it? What did you say? You said something, and I was I like, don't remember. I, don't I was talking. I was. I mean, it God. was the work. <laughs> I, I, I was like, I'm just not into the 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 <laughs> the hypnotize the twink uh, with the polygamy vampires, which I know lots of people are into, and you know. Power to you guys. Like, yeah. not like I'm wrong. Like, I, I, I don't know why I'm not like horny what, what for about, that. <laughs> uh, what about just uh, Delilah then? I guess, I mean, yeah. 
Yeah, you didn't know she wasn't a vampire. I didn't. Yeah. I've never watched the show. No, she's not. Yeah. Um, so. I, know, I know some things. I just don't know all the things. Like, I know uh, story beats and stuff, and I know who who ends up where and God, mo- mostly. Percy puts on the mask. And yeah, so that's pretty. super dope. I knew, I knew that he did that. I felt that, I, well, that that part's a little cringy. Did you really? Uh, I think it's really cool, but that could be because I know when he does have it on. And I feel like they may have wasted it on some random no face dude. Oh, really? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Which, yeah. which it could because like I think it's cool, but like, <laughs> to be honest, I feel like they should have started him always wearing it because it seemed real cringy. He was like, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he donned yeah. the mask, and I was like, all right. I so that's all how right. I always imagined it, and I thought it was cringy when I watched it in the campaign because like, oh yeah, could you imagine like some dude walking up to you and be like, give me one second, okay. And then like and then like staring you down like uh, I initially yeah. imagined that as cringy. So now I'm just I I've I've, I've, it's, I've mourned the cringe and yeah. now I'm just accepting it. But I should say that I also thought him Naruto running was really cool. <laughs> yeah. So my opinion could be really really skewed. And I think that's the only part. But I think it, it is a little awkward. It is. Yeah. It, does, it does seem shoehorned in. Yeah. But what if like the smoke made it? If like the smoke made the mask, I've been like, "Fuck, that's cool." So Fuck, that's just cool. Just carrying around a mask. Oh yeah, he, he just he's like, yeah, where, yeah, "I'm gonna shoot this guy now." Where was that, by the way? <laughs> yeah, who you butt? put that? You, 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 put you, you, you bring your gum, and you brought your mask to yeah. the party. <laughs> <laughs> was, was that also checked in? No. Yeah, it should like, just be like a magical. Like I like how they're explaining away like why Pike doesn't have spell slots. Yeah. And oh yeah, because she's, like, she's like connecting to the Everlight, mm-hmm. and that's really cool. Which was weird to hear because I was like, in the campaign, it's Saren Ray, but that's Pathfinder. So yeah. it's also um, really weird to see her so like not completely attached because I've never. Th- I, I I mean, it's so weird for him to think about Pike not always in tune with her God. Yeah. Because by the end, she's just archon of her religion, so it's mm-hmm. weird to see her. Uh, it sounds weird, but vulnerable in a way. Mm. Yeah, and I like that the, how they're playing like. Because obviously, like all of them own those characters effectively, like they mm-hmm. are them. So seeing how they are in the show is exactly like verbatim who they're supposed to be. So mm-hmm. I love seeing like Keyleth be Keyleth, mm-hmm. and like when she cast the lightning bolt on the blue dragon, I was like, "That's so fucking Keyleth!" Like yeah. that's so good. Did I just make things worse? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Did I just make things worse? Yeah, it was so good. Like, man, and uh, and I I like. Because I know Keyleth got a lot of hate. I like that they show that Keyleth is very important to the party. Like, she saves all of their lives in the first episode. She's extremely important to the party. Yeah. And that's her character is that, like, it's, she's she's constantly trying to live up to herself. And mm-hmm. she has this immense amount of power and responsibility that she can't consistently live up to. And I love in the very first scene, she's like, guys, are we the bad guys? Like, that's what she's always doing in mm-hmm. campaign one. And it, it pisses me off that so many people thought they're like, oh, that's cringe. And it's like, you dumbass. That's her fucking character. I also think it's going to be very cool when the story arc she's going to go through because the Keyleth we see now is not like Armente the Tempest Keyleth mm-hmm. at the end mm-hmm. and it's going to be noticeably different and, yeah. and I'm very excited to see that yeah yeah yeah, yeah definitely definitely mm-hmm. um, I I think it was a great start I like to see the beginnings from where they come from and I think I'm, I'm I like Vax um I should point out, I'm not a big fan of Vax, but I like him so far. So maybe I'll have different thoughts about Vax mm-hmm. because I'll be interpreting him differently. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, I was worried about because there's so many characters that people would not have enough time to really breathe with each other. Hmm. But they all... Everyone gets their moment. If you yeah, notice, in the first moment. two episodes, there's not a lot of focus on Percy. And I knew why. I was like, they're not focused on Percy too much mm-hmm. because he's going to be the focus in episode three. And that's mm-hmm. what happened. And so, like, I, they're just balancing it so well. They're just doing it so yeah. good. You know, they're not putting the spotlight too long on somebody else. And, like, everybody's getting their moments to shine. It's mm-hmm. just fantastic. So, yep. Good show. You should go watch it. Yep. If you're not watching it, you should be. Yep. It's amazing. It's a lot of fun. I, uh... I want to try to watch all of campaign one now, um, but I know it's going to be very hard. But the thing is, in my opinion, my very you, skewed, biased yeah. opinion, we all have campaign those. one is a lot is very fun and yeah. very interesting for the if you skip if you skip the first fifteen episodes, yeah. <laughs> if you skip to I, where the show starts. Unfortunately, what I have watched. Yeah, and I told you to skip it, and you didn't. Well, because. <laughs> 
I have like the like completionist mentality where it's like something could be said in this that will be said later in episode 23. So if I skip 22, then I won't know. And I, Uh, the only thing that you get out of the first 15 episodes, (laughs) who I don't enjoy. (laughs) Yeah. Uh, and there's nothing, nothing really important. uh, You get like Lady Kima and stuff. Yeah. And Alora. But they come back though. Okay. Um, they they say that uh, if you're going to be up out at night with a baby, you should have you know something on. And I figured you know critical I f- roles. I think the Vox Machina campaign is really exciting and really interesting, and like it, it's I feel like it's very easy to follow too. Um, there is a point later on where I feel like it slogs a little bit, but it picks up pretty right. well. So um, I think that's every D and D campaign, like even at your table. It's yeah, like it, so some of the after, games are just kind of slow. Spoilers, I'm because we said we wouldn't talk about it, but I'm going to talk about it. Spoilers for the entirety of the campaign when Vox Machina stuff. No, I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you because oh. it, uh, it you know this already. Okay. So um, skip ahead, I guess. Uh, uh, after the Chroma Conclave. Yeah, I know those. And guys. before Vecna. I, yeah, I know that, he's in there. There's like a good mm. five to ten episode buffer, and it is so boring. Like, it, and mean, unfortunately, it's like Keyleth's arc, and it's when she's getting her Aramente, and it's very fucking cool, but, like, it, I don't know if that's after Conclave. I don't know if they defeated the Chroma Conclave yet. I just know it's before Vecna, um, and it's it's kind of after they've killed a few of them, and it's also it around like, the time when when uh, Sam is playing uh, Terion, I think. Um, I'm not sure. It's all kind of muddled in my mind. Yeah. I don't know when they well, all match is up. It, is it kind of just like a thing of... There is an episode where they... Sorry, go ahead. There, go ahead. No, go ahead. You have no, I, no, I completely interrupted you. you. Did. Why don't you? Is please. it like a thing of where they've been doing like really cool stuff and then they like are taking like a, a break and like doing like some downtime or is it... No, Matt is trying to make the encounters hard because they are, they succeed at everything. Right. And it is it, like later on Vox Machina becomes, oh, I rolled an 18. That's bad. Right. Yeah. And uh, it's kind of frustrating. So Matt tries to make hard encounters, but instead they are just sloggy and difficult mm-hmm. and everybody just gets frustrated. I specifically remember the episode where they are underwater trying to kill like a Kraken and it is just a mm. really slow. That's an interesting take. That you, Underwater. That, that you think Matt's blah. the one that to hold that down? It, I mean, it's I everybody. Think, because I think that's a universally, I think what they say too, or at least in some of the um, talks episodes, mm-hmm. they talk about how, and I don't know if this is the reason for it, this is what I speculate for, because Scanlan throws the whole group into disarray of like, no one knows me, right? Mm-hmm. And that whole thing. Mm-hmm. And the group kind of fractures. There's no leadership there. Right. Mm-hmm. So when they, and, and Matt even talks about it, when they go into that Leviathan fight or the Kraken fight, everything's shit because no one can make any decisions. Everyone just mm-hmm. commits to something and another group uncommits and it goes back and forth and the whole thing becomes rocked. I think yeah. it's because there's no real leader at that point. Yeah. And unfortunately, the arc is reliant on Keyleth becoming that leader. So, okay, I, then I'll go back. I didn't mean to say it that way, but I do that. You make a very good point. I'm, I'm not necessarily blaming Matt. No, no, no. I, I, I think, I think, all I think critiques Matt are valid. is just I consistently just, just trying to challenge like, them? at least from my DM perspective, well, like, I mean, absolutely. Yeah. He's trying to challenge yeah. them and they're in no position to like take on this enormous challenge yeah. because of that. So, yeah. um, I, I, it is a mishmash of everybody. Uh, I, think I also yeah. think that like, they are so deep into this super high level campaign that there, it becomes a point where like, like I said, like my like small example is like they roll really high and they think that that's a failure. Yeah, and like such a big thing for me was at the end was when they started the campaign too. My words are all over the place, guys. I'm sorry. I don't know what the fuck I'm talking they, about. They did struggle with that at the start. At, no, at the beginning of the Mighty Nine campaign, I loved when they were like, oh, I rolled a 10. And Matt's like, that's okay because you're level two. Yeah. So like that's fine. No, they started level three. You're level three, so that's fine. You can roll tens, and that's still a success. No. Mm-hmm. And it, it, they kind of readjusted to D anD D, and and that was I liked that a lot. That was cool for them to kind of go through that, which is like a minor frustration of mine towards the end of the Vox Machina campaign, where they're just like fucking gods, and like it's really cool, like it's really interesting. But well, sometimes there's these episodes where they just do like a five hour combat, and that's the whole episode. Once you start rolling thirties in the game, yeah. it eighteen does seem like it's going to be a failure. Yeah. So um. Yeah, that is right, though. Scanlan really does kind of fracture their group a little bit. I think bit. so. And I think a lot of it comes down to because 
if you think about again a lot of a lot of fucking spoilers for one yeah that scanlan's fracturing fractures so much more than just the group mm -hmm. it causes vex to get married in secret from vax um vax and keyleth get together and it becomes kind of in secret and they get kind of together and everyone's kind of secretive grog kind of feels alone yeah. and um everyone's trying to cling to someone exactly and, and yeah. it's a little tough and the whole group doesn't really know what's happening keyleth wants to do this thing and it, keyleth's already having a hard time because her mom failed this originally the first time mm -hmm. so it's like the whole group struggles to be something and then they feel like they really do rally together. But it, I don't, I don't, I don't know where that's at. I don't know where that's at where they do rally. Yeah. And I feel like the group does struggle. And yeah. I, and I think it's because they do pick up again. I remember once they get to art again, it picks up again. Yeah. 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 And I, and I started really liking the episodes after that. Could like, be, okay. They're that back, could they're be back. after Chroma Conclave too, which makes sense. And if it's not, it could just be ridiculous, but it would make sense that after Chroma Conclave, it is hard for them to kind of rally because they're not fighting. They've, like those in Chroma Conclave, they have a checklist. Mm -hmm. Bad guy, bad guy, kill this guy. I know what's after that. We have it. Mm -hmm. But in the Vecna arc, it's like, it's a lot of vague, you have to do these things. And at the end of the day, at the end of 30 episodes, and at the end of a 20th level campaign, that might be enough. Mm -hmm. And it's not even answered if it is enough. Yeah. Until the last roll when they have to make that roll. Do you... I'm sorry, guys. We're really talking about Vox Machina here. So can you put a timestamp? Yeah. So for everybody who doesn't want to hear spoilers? Yes. So just in case. Okay, yeah, yeah. Well, there was a timestamp, guys. Yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Never mind. We're done talking about Vox Machina now. Um, I don't want to be spoiled. Yeah. No, no. no yeah. I, I think it's really I important. I really want to talk to you about something, and yeah. we'll talk about it later. So yeah, it's I really think it's important to, to not. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because there's a lot of cool stuff, and I think mm -hmm. that... We're going to know probably very soon, neither this week or next week, if this is going to cover more than the Briarwoods. Yeah. And does that mean season two would be, like most people think, Chroma Conclave, and season three is going to be back now, which is going to be really, really fucking cool. It'd be very yeah. cool. Very cool. Okay. Well, welcome to those welcome, who skipped this back. part. Yep. Um, <clears throat> more props art cosplay asks two questions. How did your cats get their names? And second question... What is your favorite Lord of the Rings thing you own? Wow, those are good okay. questions. Well, we start those with, are really good questions, we start actually. With, with Moose. Um, um, we, I really wanted a cat because I never had an animal in my life because my mom hated it. You had it. just moved out of your yes. mom's house and you came to live yeah. with me where I lived. I in was a 17 shitty and I was ready to have a cat. <laughs> she, we were living in my shitty apartment yeah. uh, with Logan and Colton. Mm -hmm. And um, we... Uh, Oh, okay. I feel like I need to context this. Yes, you were 17, but we had been dating for about four years before that because we met in high school. Yes. Um, so like... No, I was 18. No, I was 17. Yeah. I, I don't know how old I was. I was 18 or 19. Yes. But um, just so everybody knows, I didn't start dating no. you as an adult when we you were been, a minor. We've been dating for almost 10 years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah we met when we were minors. Yes. So anyways... That uncomfortable thing out of the way. Right. Um, you, you had moved out with me, and uh, it was like Black Friday, and we were just like, you wanted a cat, so we are like, all right, well, why don't we... We just decided well, to go to Petco, right? Okay. Logan had mentioned, maybe we'll get a cat. Yeah. Two weeks before that, we had gone to Petco, and there was a little black kitten, and I was mm -hmm. like, well, that'd be really nice to have, but I have like a really shitty job, and... No one, when we can't really afford this cat. Yeah. And Logan was like, yeah, we probably can't afford the cat. And then uh, we, we went home and I was sad. And then we went back on Black Friday with uh, Marissa. And she was like, we should just go into Petco because I want to look at cats. And I was like. Black Friday was not the reason why we went to go to the cat. I just remember it being that it was day Black for Friday. some reason. I don't even, we didn't even go into any other stores. We'd just gone out to get food or something. Yeah. And she was like, let's go look in Petco. So we went in and uh, there were some cats in there. And there was this really chill looking cat who, who was the cat that we ended up getting. And we were like, look at that one. He's, he's real big and his name's Louie. That's a dumb his name. His name is Louie. And like we, when we went back, they let you hold them. Yeah. And like there was this one cat and like he was just scared. Like he mm -hmm. didn't want to want it. And that sucks. But yeah. when we went over to Moose, he was super nice. And he was like rubbing his face into, mm -hmm. into us. And like he was purring and he let and us hold him. The, he was yeah. really sweet. And they told us that... The, the, he was living with like an old lady and she was gonna put him down. Put him down. And so they. She had, too, she had to move because she had too many cats. And yeah. so she was gonna euthanize him and they just kept him at Petco. So. Yeah. So we we're like, uh, yeah, I'd really like to get this cat. And Lil was like, 
I'll go half seas with you if you can pay for like his food and yeah. stuff. And I was like, okay. And Petco said he was seven and his documents from the vet said he was four. Yeah. We have so no we, idea how old we Bruce think is. he's four and now no. he's like eight or nine. Yeah. Cause he, I mean, he's, he's kind of he's old getting up there. now. Yeah. yeah. That makes um, more sense than he's 13. Yeah. yeah. I don't think yeah. he's <laughs> fucking 13. He still runs up trees and stuff. Yeah, he's, yeah. 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 Um, he's starting to get bony though on his back, which yeah. is like an old cat thing. So like, he's, yeah, well, he's almost ten. He's... He lived a good life. Yeah, but uh, he's not dead yet. <laughs> no. Um, and then we were in line. Uh, I was hold. We they put him in a box. <laughs> he was really. Bi- he's a big cat he too. Is. When we got him, he was a big cat. He lost a lot of weight when he moved in with us because I think that old lady was overfeeding him. Yeah, he, was, she he wasn't had, like, like chunky. He was just big. Yeah. Um, and he has like a big head too. Mm-hmm. So and I wanted to name him something really stupid. Yeah. Like I wanted to name him Bowser. Yeah, Bowser. <laughs> we almost named him Bowser. And then I was like, what about Moose? We almost did Bear, but we didn't do Bear. And then Moose. And I was like, yeah, Moose, moose is, is a good, good one. name. So we named him Moose. Yeah. Um, I think. And that's it. Yeah. That's, that's how why we, got we named moose. him Moose. And then uh, hang out Mar- with Marshall at his place because we would always uh, used our to place go over to Marshall's sucked. house. To, yeah. To, our place sucked. We would go over to Marshall's house ghetto. to. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we were at the next apartment. So we didn't live with Logan anymore. Oh, yeah. And we were living just with Colton. Yeah. And uh, we went over to his house to play some games. And there was a black cat in the backyard who was just like trying to come in. Who had in. been that back there for weeks. Yeah. Like we saw them every time every we came time over. We went over. And she was really sweet. Mm-hmm. And then one day you just really wanted to take her home. Yeah. I and finally broke you down. To get you just cat. walked up to me and you were like, we could name her Coffee Cake. Yeah. And I was like, why do you want to name no, her No, I that? wanted to name her Pepper. And you're like, that's a dumb name. I never heard Pepper. You did. I pepper. heard Coffee Cake. You told me nope, Pepper was a dumb not name. arguing. But never heard Pepper. What what convinced you was Colton went out there and she immediately came over to Colton and let Colton pet her. And Moose hated Colton. Moose didn't want Colton yeah, to touch so him. Colton he didn't attached. like Colton. And he was like, that's a good cat. We should take that cat home. Because he was on your side until she was like, oh, hi. So, yeah, well, fucking we took her home. We gave her a bath. We gave her medicine. And she was so happy and sweet. And yeah. She was very, she's like, she was even sweeter than Moose. And we were like, wow, we really got lucky with these cats. And then she was pergonant. Yeah. And then. Colton's girlfriend came down. Who's now his fiance. I don't know if anyone heard about Victor- that. Uh, Sari, yeah, a real name Victoria, also she came named down, Sari. She came down like three weeks later, and she was like, "That cat's pregnant," and we we're like, "No, she's not." And then like, she was like, "Yeah." It was the she day is. she left. She was like, "Bye, I'm going back to Canada." By the way, your cat's pregnant, and then she left, and we we're, <laughs> yeah, like, we're like, "Uh huh." And then, and then I like looked it was. up, and I was like, "Oh god, I think she might actually be pregnant." No, we felt her. We felt yeah. little kitties in there. We we're like, yeah. "Oh shit!" And then uh, a few she... weeks later, so at the time. We were really, you guys were watching Full Metal Alchemist. We were, yeah. So you guys were really into Full Metal Alchemist. Mm-hmm. I was kind of watching in the background while I would like edit videos. So mm-hmm. I would, because my office was in our kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> like our dining room. So I'd, I'd be in the back editing while you guys were watching Full Metal Alchemist. And so that, because that, I'd watched it before, but you would never, um, you would never watch yeah, it. Never so I watched it. it with you. Um, and um, we were just kind of in, t- you guys, we were just into it at the time. So Edward yeah. Nalfon sounded like a cool name. We, we were, if they were both girls, I don't know what we were going to name them. But I know that if they were a boy and a girl, we were, we're going to do Vex, Vex and Vax. Yeah. But we didn't. Yeah. And so instead we did um, Edward and Alphonse because they were both boys. Yeah. Um, so that that's that's the that's reason. That's why they're named that. And then when we post it on the internet, they're like, is their mom dead? And we were no. like, no. She's, she's actually real sweet. <laughs> we're just into Full Metal Alchemist and at the time. Uh, there's a little black cat who lives in our backyard. He looks exactly like Edward and Alphonse. And he runs away all the time. So we so named he, him Spook. Yeah. He's Spook. Yep. And then there's a cat next door to us whose name is Mud. Yeah. We mm-hmm. didn't name him, though. No. We just asked our neighbors. We were calling him like, Chonky for yeah. like a year and a half. And they were like, yep. yeah, no, his name's Mud. Yep. <clears throat> um, and then uh, what's your favorite Lord of the Rings thing you own? That's tough. Uh, the, the, the mobile thing for the baby's nursery. Do you want to get that and show it off? It's got the plastic on it still. Okay, yeah, we yeah. got a little baby mobile that has little things from Lord of the Rings on it. It has mm-hmm. the Lothlorien leaf and the Even Star, and uh, it's got like some of the swords. They had it's got like the horse. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Under his horse. Yeah. <laughs> my, my body says my broken. body is broken. <laughs> just, just. It has getting ready to- early. It it's... has the tomato that Denethor eats. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, <clears throat> Sorry, I had a thought. It was the thing I wanted to talk about, and I decided I didn't Gollum's, want to talk about it because it'd be a huge rant. So we're not going to. Gollum's do it. loincloth. Yeah, Gollum's loincloth. <laughs> yeah. Uh, mine's probably. Oh, fuck, I don't know. You have a lot. Uh, I like. Mm, I like Andoril a lot. 
Mm-hmm. I have Anduril. I do. I have the no. My favorite Lord of the Rings thing I own is the uh, is the Anduril and um, um, Emma, my sister, stitched did like a stitch painting and mm-hmm. she like stitched Anduril and she also did Frodo with uh, uh, with the ring in his hand. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, she gave me those for uh, for Christmas like two years ago and mm-hmm. I love those so much because it's like a it's like a thing that only I own but also mm-hmm. she made so that's probably my favorite thing. Yeah, yeah definitely. Um, but I also have a Morgul blade. Yeah. Yeah. And I like that one too. But it's very sharp. It is. It could stab. It could. Like it stabbed Frodo. It did. It's still sharp. Yeah. I don't know who it was on uh, Twitter, but somebody was tweeting about how they just finished watching Lord of the Rings and uh, they were like, it was like the Chad Sam and the Virgin Frodo. And I will not stand for Frodo slander. Yeah. I won't. Yeah. But I won't rant about it today. That's good. Someday... I get I get to be allowed to rant about Frodo. Okay. But yeah. today, but today we, it is not this day. Yeah. <laughs> After we have the baby, this you day. can rant about Frodo. That'll be your treat. My treat? Yeah. For the baby? <laughs> yeah. I just hold her and I'm like, like hey. Uh, if you ever say any fucking bad things about Frodo, listen I about, will, Look, I'm going to tell you I why will, Frodo why you had the like biggest that? job no, you gotta hold it like in the, the entire meme world. Guy the other day, it's like a burrito. Like, why is your head? Okay. Why is there? Okay. There you go. Proper. Frodo is probably the strongest hobbit to ever exist, all right? And there's many reasons why, okay? Sam did resist the ring, but Frodo resisted it for much longer and... This seems like a rant. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, uh, well, all I think right. we've got baited. We've right. <laughs> got tricked. Right. <laughs> Shit, he got us. <laughs> Trixie hobbit. Yeah. Hey. Look at the Stupid fucking picture again. It. Busting it down sexual style. Oh, God damn it. There's a crooked up little <laughs> hobbit. <laughs> with a little bit of swab. You stop oh, no. it right now. Truly cursed. I'm going to go get the spray bottle. <laughs> <laughs> Is he guarded with the sauce? Shake off. <laughs> he presses. No. <laughs> oh, shit. I like the ones that are, um, that are Patrick Bateman. <laughs> but is he goaded with the sauce? <laughs> That's right. Buy all of cum coin and dump all my fart bucks said- into Booba. <laughs> I, I didn't think that's what we're talking about. I thought we were talking about the guy who plays Alfred. <laughs> yeah. <That's> the- <laughs> that is I not was, what that was. I was thinking of the guy who plays Kronk. <laughs> Master Wayne. That is a quick up little What's white that guy's boy. Name? I, I don't, to be honest, right. every time I think about it, I think I think Marshall. He's a little big of yeah. swag. Alfred. Isn't that guy's name Patrick too? Is he goaded with the sauce, Alfred? <laughs> I, I'm not going to entertain this. That's fair. Sure. Look it up. He's busting it down sexual style. And you'll be there. <laughs> and you'll busting be there. it down sexual style. <laughs> and I'll wait for you. <laughs> Bruce. Busting it down. <laughs> what? Sexual style. I can't do the Kronk voice as good as Marshall can. Oh, Marshall's, to be honest, I'm convinced of the same person. Yeah. <laughs> What's that uh, guy's name? Uh, Patrick Warhol. Warhol. Jeez. Oh, I think so. I don't know. You Maybe I got that wrong. Off your head. No. Oh, I guess it's my job to look that up. Maybe Warbuff. I don't know. <laughs> I just know that he's he does the intro for Soaring Over the World. Hey, Peter. There's a quirked up little white boy. Uh, that's not With a little bad. bit of swag. And he's bussing. T- <laughs> he's bussing. And he's bussing it down sexual style. You're right. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Patrick Wartenberg. T- Whoa. War Burton. War Burton? War Burton. I was thinking of Andy Warhol, I think. War, yeah. Yeah. The, f- the famous artist. Soup? What? what? With what? The, f- the soup. Who do you think Andy Warhol is? Soup guy. Yeah. Wait, did he do soup with art? Art, I mean, yeah. art with soup? I think the painting, right? Yeah. Okay. Isn't, the painting isn't, with soup? Isn't Campbell's? Yeah. I think so. I'll check. Yeah, please do. Is he goaded with the sauce? <laughs> <laughs> No more. The sauce for my give me, Give me the Febreze. I'll spray you with that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It is. It is. Okay. It is. Yeah. Oh, fuck. Oh. You want to ask the next question? Oh, sure. <clears throat> I just want to update everyone on the Vox Mock and uh, uh, critical reviews hmm. on Rotten Tomatoes. Still 100. 100 still? How many on, critic reviews? Uh, I have no clue. Hmm. No clue. But for IMDb, uh, it has a 9 out of 10 with 3,500 reviews. Oh, Solid. Wow. Solid. Very cool. Very cool. Mm-hmm. I need to learn how Liam does his fax voice. 
Uh, uh, kinda you got, sound like Salt Snake. Uh, he kind of yeah. does sound. Vax sounds like Solid Snake. Uh, that's Solid Snake. Uh, yeah. Colonel. I, I know. <laughs> Colonel. Colonel. Oh, there's a quirked up little white boy. <laughs> With a little bit of swag. Uh, okay. Snake. We have to move on. No, we have to move on. No, snake. No. Is he loaded with a saw snake? <laughs> ask, the, ask the next question. Uh, I'm Hurry. In, I'm in control. Of the Please. <laughs> I'm in control. Uh, guys, this is my life. Colonel. He's busting it down sexual it. style. Oh, I'm going in. <laughs> He'll run into a room while like, I get my attention and start this. Oh. No, 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 don't think of anyone else. <laughs> Just read the question. I saw you. I, I see you thinking about what that's next. No, just go. Uh-uh. <laughs> Move uh, on. I'm, Ask the question, you do it. I'm finding Cut the Twitter. Off. <laughs> He's going to the Rolodex. Gandalf. We got a stud lock of hard. There are letters. <laughs> it's some sort of elvish. I can't read it. It says there's a quirked up little white boy. <laughs> I assure you, he's quite, he's he's quite swagged saw. up. Gandalf. Is he coated with the sauce, Gandalf? Frodo. You gotta read the next question. He's no. bossing it down sexual Jacob. style. You better, yeah, I mean, okay, no. all right, all right, all right. Yeah. right. There we go. Bluest destroys statues of colonizers. Lewis. Sick name. Spencer, cover your ears. It's boys talk. Oh. You're one of the boys. Yeah. Time to talk about beer and guns and cars. <laughs> okay, right. quickly, guys. How do we be more sensitive? Oh, my God. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Uh, so, uh, look, you just need to put down some of your barriers, but not the not the filter barriers. There's like two different types, at least for myself. I'm speaking very honestly. Uh, there are barriers that I have within my heart and in my soul. One of them is like a filter that stops me from saying things I probably shouldn't. Right. I let them down whenever I'm where, quirking where up a little a white boy. Where was that a moment ago? Uh, no, I let that down. <laughs> Being more sensitive is you're keeping up that like filter, but you are letting down your emotional barriers. So you are mm-hmm. coming... Uh, you're being more forthright with how people feel and you are connecting with them emotionally. The most important part about being sensitive without being an asshole is you have to be empathetic. You need to understand how other people feel while you are talking Mm -hmm. to them. So you can't just be like, I'm sad, (sighs) and then run away. You need to, you need to, you gotta have a conversation with people. You explain how you feel. I'll say the most important thing is that you have to be in touch with yourself. Allow yourself to be sensitive. Yes. If you want to Drop those love, walls to you. You know, yes. learn to love yourself. Yeah. What about you, Spencer? No, oh, I agree. One of the boys. One of the boys. Yeah. Like, uh, I don't know. Sometimes I struggle with being like too sensitive. Like I care, I care a lot about people. Yeah. So, um, I think if I give you my secrets, you will, you will care too much. Hmm. A little too much. Yeah, Maybe. yeah, I Sometime, feel that. Sometimes. There, there's no rule book but, for, for overcommitting. You're like, is this too much? Is this is not it, enough? Is it, is, it, is it crazy now? Are you afraid? Yeah. Are you afraid? Did I scare now? you off? <laughs> that's no. always a really, that's always a thing I, I, I have. Like, I don't ever want to be too much because I was yeah. too much when I was a kid. I was very hyper and very, like, I was very overly mm-hmm. sensitive when I was a kid. If anybody yelled at me, I'd cry. Yeah. So, like, um, uh, like now as an adult, I need to, like, know when I need to be sensitive and when I'm not being annoying. And that's always really difficult. And the way that I deal with it, which is probably not the right way to deal with it, mm. because if I knew all the answers, I wouldn't be that's talking true, on a yeah. podcast about busting it down sexual style. But I wouldn't. Uh, uh, but I, I typically just ask way repeatedly. I'm like, am I being annoying? Is this stupid? Should I have to be talking about this? Mm-hmm. Is this all right? And that's a pretty straightforward way to it ask is. people questions. Yeah, and that's okay. That, yeah, it's okay to, ch- to, to to check in with your people. It's really important to. And if somebody's like no, then fuck them. They're probably just assholes. They're just an, an asshole. You want somebody who's going to want to well, listen to you. You still got to think about what you what the what situation is yeah yeah sometimes maybe you were being a little too much why did i say asshole like that i said asshole asshole I think arsehole lace calls this thing emotional bandwidth mm-hmm. where she'll have a certain amount of thing a certain amount of time or space on her own plate where she'll be able to go i'm willing to handle this or go is nothing that you are doing but this is i am expended my social bandwidth today yeah and sometimes if somebody's struggling the best thing you can do with them is uh, ask them if they want to be alone 
if they want to, yes. uh, if they want uh, mm-hmm. a distraction or yeah. if they want to talk about it. And it's yeah. okay if those things change halfway through. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. If they yeah. suddenly want to be alone or if they clip my thing, I always want a distraction. I know yeah. sometimes mm-hmm. if it's, if something making me angry, I want to talk about it. If something making me upset, then I, I just, I want a distraction. Yeah. Yeah. Being alone sucks though. I, I, I don't handle my emotions well by myself. Mm-hmm. Um, so yeah. yeah. It's okay. It's okay to be lost sometimes. Yeah. No. Talk. Not all those who wander are lost. Metalist asks, "What is your guys' process of naming your characters, NPCs, and places, etc.?" Um, um, I don't fucking know. Um, I, I, I hate naming things because I always think that they're really stupid. So unfortunately, I'm not very good at giving advice on this. I just kind of uh, think of something that sounds cool, or I look up meanings of things and then go, "I'll just use that." So like. Uh, for example, I was having a hard time naming a character uh, villain that I wanted to name in uh, Evenfall, and uh, which uh, which was Lycus. Yeah. I ended up naming him Lycus because I found some cool uh, word in Abyssal, and I was like, "That's cool." The word uh, I think "killer" is uh, in in Abyssal is Lycus, and mm-hmm. I was like, "That's a fucking cool name." That's so that's his name. Cool name. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, I I do something similar. I just go, "What does this name mean?" Oh, okay. Well, that's pretty neat. Um, but I normally save naming the character for last so i have an idea of what i want and sometimes then I, I come up with a name while i'm making my character mm, yeah i gotta come see this some guy busting out sexual style it's like, in the bathroom in the bathroom <laughs> yeah fuck dude that's insane well is he going to the sauce <laughs> no i don't think so no damn i know lame you've taken him over you stole my soon, friend. You soon stole you'll me. be on my side. No. All right? <laughs> One day. No. Did, did, did we talk about, because I want to hear about your things, because everyone's related, related in some way. Yeah. So like, what's like, how the fuck do you do it? Oh, well, they all get the same last, the last name. Well, the easy, <laughs> cheater. Um, all right. I don't know. Like, their names don't really connect in any way. Um. But you have like a stockpile of cool names. Like, I don't yeah. know where you fucking get them. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I just hold on to them. I'll hear a name that I like and I'll write it down. And then if it ever fits for a character, um, I'll, I'll use it. Pervon. Pervon. Yeah. Yeah. Did, did, did you already say uh, about Farron? What about Farron? Like, like how you named him? Oh, well, his name means like uh, journey ready. And so. I didn't know that. Fuck, that's cool. cool. Mm-hmm. Fuck. That's yeah. really so cool. much cooler mm-hmm. than any of my shit. <laughs> yeah, you just find a name that, that fits. Wow. Yeah. Damn. And then uh, Baudelaire means like little dagger. But it's very French. Yeah. 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 I don't think that's French. That doesn't sound very French. <laughs> I, I, I think, I think it is. Wait, that's Italian. <laughs> <laughs> Hang on. Uh, I forget what Colette means, but something else. We were talking earlier about how at D&D Beyond they have the Italian player's handbook still yeah. on there. And I'm like so confused. Like why they didn't just translate all of the books and then give you an option. Instead, you could just go into D&D Beyond. You've got player's handbook and Manuel Digiatore. <laughs> it's like, what is this? Maybe there's just the like... The fancy version? Maybe there's just like one Italian guy the at D&D Beyond. Yeah. Like, handbook. This will be funny and no one can fix it. <laughs> Um, sorry, Italians, but you guys shouldn't have such a funny language. Uh, Dave <laughs> Killer you. Baker asks, The revolution has begun. Too long has Jacob not run, run the Dorngen... Oh, shit. I give an ultimatum. I, deity of grain, <laughs> have gathered revolutionaries. If we war, no, you'll lose. But we mustn't fight. Run it, or meet a fool's end by my blade of grain. What'll it be? <laughs> Dave... All right, look, buddy. <laughs> I have already planted these seeds of rot within your factories of grain, all right? I know where you source out your bread. You can't force me to do anything. The war can begin, yes, and you may win a battle against me. But I will always win the war. You don't want to go toe-to-toe with me. All right, let's go to the next question. Yeah. I thought, I thought that was it. I was like, how much time do we have left? What? Uh, Francois <laughs> Anderson. Uh, Why did you say it like that? It says that's what it is. And they have a that's little... It. It's a, yep, it's... St- and this is the picture. It's, it's timed exactly... Oh, shit. The picture's Kermit going like that. I, I love fucking... I, I don't even know anything about Kermit Look. the Frog. I, I, I like the vibe that he gives. Francois. Francois. Oh, shit. Unless you guys think it's Francois... Francois... 
That's yeah, not fun to say. I, I actually do. I, I think like it is fun to Francois. say. Francois! <laughs> I think you should uh, say the other Francois. way. Have Francois. you heard of the fix that suggests that sorcerers should use... I don't know why I started reading it like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's a voice it's kind podcast. Of a silly, goofy that they mood. should use con? <sighs> Have you heard of the fix that suggests that sorcerers should use the DMG spell point system instead oh. of the spell slots for casting? If you have, do you think that that may change its identity from uh, to make it different from wizard to make them feel more unique? I'm going to say yes and yes. I think it'd be very fun to try out. I would love to see how it plays out. I think it's very interesting and would make them different and more fun to play. Oh. Uh, yeah. That's all on yeah. paper, though, so I have no idea if it'd yeah. be fucking stupid why you, to play uh, Why don't you run that? Why don't you, uh... Because nobody will do it because nobody likes to change things. No, why don't you do it? Well, why don't I play a sorcerer? Yeah. yeah. I gotta find a DM who'd be okay with that. Maybe Colton would for Wild Be on the Witchlight. Or, yeah. or. You can play a sorcerer in Cyberpunk. <laughs> Gregory. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sick. Yeah, let's do it. He's <laughs> <laughs> dead ass sorcerer. Yeah. <laughs> who the fuck are you? I don't know. I have magic. <laughs> for a different plane. Hawkeye Pierce asks, Legend of Vox Machina has already been renewed for a second season by Amazon, provided they keep making the show and even continue on to Camping 2. What moment are you most excited to see animated? All right, there's another spoilers thing. But there is a moment I really want to see, and I don't want to say it because okay, you don't know good. what it is. Well, you could, do, you could maybe do like a Campaign 2 one because they also mentioned that. Okay, Campaign 2. If they do campaign, there's a camp, there's, there's Vox Machina scene I really want, and I hope they fucking do it. Yeah. I've imagined it in my mind for a long time, and I hope to see it. Mm-hmm. Oh, I really want to see what it is. You want to plug your ears? No. All right, cool. We will. We'll hold it. Yeah, yeah, hold it. Yeah, yeah, hold on to that one. Campaign two. Yeah. Fucking anything with Ford. I was going <laughs> to say the same thing. Uh, oh, my God. Ford. Though, but, Any of same. Ford's dreams. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I, I was like, Ford getting the sword or, and becoming paladin when he is yes. like covered in the snow. Mm-hmm. Oh my God. Uh, being underwater and like seeing, um, uh, Ukatoa, um, yeah. any of the times where it like flashes back to his past, getting railed by Avantika, um, being yeah. a pirate, like and that, all of that would be so fucking cool to mm-hmm. see. Every smash cut of him summoning his pack weapons. Mm-hmm. And hearing the Eldritch Blast. Like, mm-hmm. oh yeah. fuck. Yeah, I don't. I, you just make a show about Ford. I don't give a fuck about anybody else. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I really like Jester. I, I think also any of like the little, like char- like quirky character things at the start of campaign two. Do you guys think that if they do Mighty Nine, that Sam Regal is going to be like, "Hi, I'm not." <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I really I hope, hope so, so too. Me too. I kind of hope that like Goblin <laughs> Knot is Sam, and then and then Halfling Knot is maybe not <laughs> his Sam. wife. But if not, if not, you know, I'm down to hear <laughs> Sam Regal just be like, "Hey, everybody, what <laughs> are we gonna go do? <laughs> we should go take care of that <laughs> that Lorenzo guy." <laughs> He almost slipped into Chris Perkins playing that that kobold. Oh, oh my God, Spurt! Spurt, yeah. Spurt better be. Spurt better be there. <laughs> he will. and be everywhere. Yeah. yeah. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> Eleven Rest days. Peace. Indeed. Indeed. Balls. All Balls. right. <laughs> Don't look at him in the Damn eyes. It. <laughs> big, big Greg. Oh, what the fuck? I'm the only one that answered the question. No, I. We, <laughs> yeah, no, we, we, we all know we all have the same answer. Oh, cool. Yeah. Sick. All right. <laughs> we I all just want to see Ford. Being fucking selfish. I'm Ford's sorry. cool. He is. Big Greg asks, how do you feel about raid boss type mechanics in TTRPGs? <laughs> Ask fucking Craig. How do you feel about raid boss type mechanics in our TTRPGs? Like different activities to do during the fight to keep everyone occupied as well as ways to weaken the boss without necessarily dealing damage. Oh, there is a really cool... So Craig is master of this. But um, uh, you, you talk about raid yeah, mechanics yeah, within your bosses. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, very yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. Um, but there was a new thing that I heard that Davi heard from Joe Cat that Joe Cat did in their Necro Hunt game, which I thought was really cool, but I've never watched Necro Hunt. I just heard Davi talk about it when he talked to me. Yeah. Um, uh, because whatever, I guess Joe Cat has good opinions or something. But like, uh, there was a mechanic that he had used where the, where the bad guy had two health bars. One was a damage health bar and the other one was a social encounter health bar. And every time you rolled a really good persuasion, intimidation, or like a, a convincing sort of like check, but I don't know if this is exactly what it was, but this is what I heard from Davi who heard it from Joe. Uh, <laughs> it, that health bar would then go down and it was another way the BBG could be defeated by, by just like convincing them. Hmm. It's like, uh, under- <laughs> Craig's face was like, it's like Undertale. Wow. Yeah. yeah. Like Undertale. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. I've never huh. beaten that game, but I was gonna say, how do you know that? Well, cause I played some of it. 
Can't oh. you like not fight things yeah, in that you, game you, and then yeah, win? Yeah. Strong. yeah. So uh, it's also That's it's interesting. actually it is a mechanic in City of Mist, except City of Mist doesn't use like number health bars. Um, and I don't exactly know how Joe did it, but like that would be really cool to have like an alternate way to defeat a bad guy. But like Fuck. by like spending your turn to like roll a persuasion check mm-hmm. and then that like does like damage to their convincing health bar or something. Like I think the camera just committed seppuku. I think it did. I think it was like I'm full now. <laughs> I'm full. <laughs> Hi guys, it's just our voice now. We're gonna figure out this. Is Craig gonna business. is Craig gonna draw us? Am I, am I in the am oh, I in no. the void right now? My oh, no. hey, do you want actually Can I be a piece of toast? <laughs> Fuck. I, I wanna yeah. be a piece of toast. Yes, what do you, you wanna can, be? You can. I just wanna be spinning. I could just be a head. Oh, okay, sick. I'm a piece of toast God. you're spinning. Oh, I wanna have a gun. I want a gun. <laughs> a gun toast. And I'm and I am full, high, full I I don't know why, why I always want a gun. I'm aiming my gun at Spencer floating. But you can't hit. No. <laughs> I'm missing consistently. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> nope, you can't get me. <laughs> oh, damn it. Okay. I'm a disembodied hit. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna be a burnt toast now. <laughs> <laughs> and then drop my gun into the ether. <laughs> Craig, I'm just gonna be a head. You don't have to do anything special. I don't even need eyes. <laughs> I'm taking my For the audio listeners, I'm just taking my notes. This. Yeah. <laughs> taking notes. I have to take Wait, notes are we now. back? No, no. no. <laughs> we never came we back. Have to pull this thing. I'll do it. Right now. I'm no longer a piece of toast. I have a body again. Great, you've obtained it. That was amazing. Yeah. Sorry, guys. It's kind of a long podcast episode. I think it's really cool that idea, just not to go too far back. That oh, I, I, I'm upset how fucking smart that is. Right. Uh, about a social health bar. Mm-hmm. God, one I hate day, how fucking smart people are. One day that fucking Joe Cat is gonna say something wrong, and I'm gonna be there. <laughs> I'm gonna be like. You are normal. I can relate to that. Oh though. my woman! I also oh, have a social health bar. <laughs> yeah. Well, oh, hey, yeah, it's okay to have a social health bar. Yeah, it's okay. Everyone it's a has really one. introverted dragon. Yeah. He's like, eh, he flies away. Yeah. Uh, people might fucking <laughs> <laughs> gotta move away. <laughs> <laughs> I have a uh, coffee with no cream. Here's a coffee with cream. <laughs> <laughs> Dies. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> you out of here. <laughs> break through the wall <laughs> get the fuck out of here oh my god that's one of the best things about being married to you is I'll be like oh they made my coffee hot and you're like those fuckers and you'll take it back <laughs> never in a mean way uh, okay never I in a mean never way never mean to anybody that works uh, retail no yeah never mm-hmm. but I will get your coffee right Valid. you'll be like you'll be I'm, like Whenever you have got to, whenever you got a moment, this was this was just supposed to be iced. Oh, it's she, really awkward. She's, actually, she's gay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I promise. I promise. I'm, I'm not. Sorry, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm not rude. I just, want, I just want my coffee right. Yeah, she, and my wife, she's very gay. <laughs> <laughs> she, she's very gay. Though. That makes you feel better. But, but please put oat milk. Her, yeah. her tummy will be very. Uh, look at how tiny yeah. she is. She yep. can't. She can't. She can't. She can't, she can't have can't, a hot drink. Yeah, yeah, She'll yeah. die. No. <laughs> no. 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 We scalded. <laughs> no, I'm very weird. I'm like. Hey, this is supposed to be hot, and they're like, oh, "All right, ice." Here you go. <laughs> <laughs> you just put ice in it. <laughs> I love all of those those uh, baristas on TikTok. They're like, "Hey, uh, this was just supposed to be uh, it was supposed to be iced," and they like smash the entire yeah. cup. And like, well, okay, we'll that's that right off you. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, you're an uncle now. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. my sister had her baby. Yeah. Uh, His name is Leland. And he's very cute. Yep. Leland Oliver. Wow. Adams. Adams. His social security number is... Leland's address. 555. North. His mother's maiden name. Busting it down sexual style. (laughs) Booba? Booba. (laughs) Buy all of Comcoin. Dump all my fart bucks into Into Booba. Booba. Yep. That one's one's actually... I like the one where he's really buff and it's like... Kyle, you need to RSVP with my mom. Otherwise, you will not reserve your seat at my at the trampoline park. Yeah. <laughs> um, there was another. There we go. Whoa! You, you pick... It's time for Spirit Juice ah! Aunties. Man, you're really. Give it, a, give it a stir. You're, you're real strong. Big man, stir in the pot. Whoa. Hail, oh, we spilled the pot. Top NPCs. NPC From uh, what? Easy. Fucking so easy. Huh. Ace. Oh. He's been D-Gort. in the game for five D-Gort. minutes. <laughs> that, fucking ver, that fucking ver big. <laughs> yes. Wow. It's all the goofy he was NPCs hung. that come up with. <laughs> he, he was, I loved him his and his hu- hungness. His hungness. His hungness. <laughs> Uh, let me think. He was hung though. He was, and you guys killed him. We did. Good. He killed that monster. He cock. tried to. Oh. 
Yeah. My man's had the biggest cock in all fan room and you killed him. Balls. 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 No. Ass. Asa Dick. for sure though. Asa fucking for sure. Killer character. Killer I... idea. Thanks. I appreciate it. I really like I almost said Jeffrey Epstein. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> what? I, don't, I don't know why that what's what's his name? Eatonborough. <laughs> Lord Eaton from Apnea, the guy who I don't oh. like that that's who came into your Sorry, head. Sorry, it was for the that, E. Though. It was the E. Yeah, there's a yeah. lot of E. He's not Jeffrey Epstein. No. He was a very nice old man who gave us a, a little quest and he had coffee in his big old house and he let us stay there. And, then he, died. and he was very nice and then he fucking died. Uh. Now but now we get his house. And That's his coffee cool. maker. Um, um, what was the lich lady's name in your game? Oh, uh, uh, Lizel. Like, no. no. Was it Lizel? I think it's Izel. Izel. But, Sorry, but it Lizel. might be no, the Lizel same is thing. Baldur's Gate 3. Yeah. yeah. It's Izel. Izel. You had a lich lady that would just show up and just try to make deals with us. Mm-hmm. And we were always like, you bitch. <laughs> <laughs> and fucking Justin with Screed would always be like, hmm. I'm going to make a deal with you. And he'd be like, Ooh, you keep helping us, you bitch. <laughs> and she's like, man. She was very The whole cool. console was like, lich, but lazy. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm going to live forever, so yeah. I don't have to do anything. She In my head, she's really hot. Uh, to be honest, mm-hmm. I don't know if that's true. Well, I think she's like eight like, feet tall, has several arms, and yeah. is ma- ma- mainly was, made of ribs. Yeah, I think she was nasty. I think she's kind of gross looking, but to be honest, she probably was banging around in a future. That, I'm, I was she, just going to say, that did not... That did not make her any uglier. Good, yeah, good, good, good. I think her sister's probably the the, the prettier one. Oh, Nizy, because she she's the one that, but she she's also a horrible witch too. Yeah, didn't didn't she pay us to go kill her for her? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Like just kill her, just get kill fucking her. rid of her, get rid yeah. of her. She's a horrible wolf lady that like lives in animals. Oh, Ew. yeah, it's pretty gross. But so is she. She's real oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, <laughs> Hell yeah. By the Arcane Goblins over on our Discord. If you go to our Discord and find the oh, yeah. Arcane Lodge podcast, there is a channel. There's a little a thread. Thread underneath it where you can submit. You're going to be part of the podcast. Pop-pod. Favorite bread. <laughs> Papa filter. Favorite bread. I wonder who. Uh, Favorite bread. bread. I wonder who, who asked this one, that? huh, Dave? <laughs> We're not being threatened. <laughs> you don't know Don't I fuck with me. You don't know my I, have, I have the power of God and anime on my side. <laughs> and Percy anime running. And his balls. And, and his balls. <laughs> and scaling balls. balls. Yeah. We did see those. They're awfully small. I like whole grain bread. I like whole wheat bread. Mm-hmm. I am not a fan of the rain, yeah. basic ass rainbow yeah. white bread. I'm just, I, it's all right. I didn't grow <laughs> up with it. I grew up with brown bread. My favorite bread mm. is probably a, a baguette. And if you take a baguette and you slice it and you toast it and you put that shit... A little bit of melted gruyere on top, put on top of some fucking French onion soup. Or you take that shit, you rub it with some olive oil, and you put uh, a little bit of balsamic vinegar and um, and pesto. Uh, pesto. That shit hit different. Mm. Uh, but just by itself, the brown bread from the Cheesecake Factory slaps yeah. so goddamn yeah, hard. I will eat fair. five loaves in a day, and I will it, like I will just have a container of butter and just fucking eat that shit. Mm. I love that bread. I also like um, I also like brioche. Brioche bread is very brioche good, is very but good. I don't like to eat it by its own because it's kind of sweet and it's very mm-hmm. buttery. So I like to make. It's stuff part with of it. my favorite. My favorite food. Yeah, brioche. Uh, oh, oh, truffle like um, toast, toast, which I can't have while I'm pregnant. Yeah. I which I hate it every day. By the way, is a uh, piece of brioche bread that is cut out in the middle a little bit. You like to, you like take out the middle and then you cook an egg in it with some cheese and some mm. truffle oil and but you the put egg it in is the still, oven. The egg is still raw. The egg is raw, the The white part is cooked, the cheese is melted on top, and there's truffle on it, and it's a toasted piece of brioche bread. You don't even put bread. the white part in there. That's right. You don't even put the white it's part. Just the you just You just put the yolk in there. Mm-hmm. So it's very you, good. You just down the white part yeah, like you, a shot clutch or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, at the, the place that I originally got it at used to serve it with a side of asparagus, and it was a plus. Very good. Yeah. Um, I also really like, um, I, I don't like ciabatta very much. Ciabatta is okay. It doesn't have a lot of flavor. It has a lot of flour. You buy, and it's just crunchy you sometimes. You buy like the bread that has like the grains in it. If it's got it. whole grains in it, mm. Mm, I love it. I love that with like toasted, like really toasted with crunchy peanut butter on it. And when I bite into it, I'm like. <laughs> and yeah, it's fucking but delicious. But like for my grilled cheese, that's not what I want. It's good for you though. It's good for you. Mm-hmm. 
nine whole grain. Mm-hmm. You are right though. If I want a grilled cheese, I I just want like I plain like, white bread. I don't like white bread. I like the potato bread. That's potato good too. Potato bread is great potato for bread's grilled cheese. Yeah. Um, and I I like rye, but only if it's like with a with a um, with a, like a Reuben sandwich. <laughs> Uh, but I, I know my bread. Got a lot of bread. Hawaiian I know rolls? you have a lot. You have a lot of Hawaiian lot of rolls are okay, especially during your Thanksgiving. <laughs> yeah, your favorite one. Yeah. Hawaiian rolls are great because you can open them up. You can throw some mashed potatoes, some turkey, some cranberry sauce, and a little bit of stuffing, and eat that on Thanksgiving. Mm-hmm. That's fucking delicious. It is. It is. Um, I also really like last bread. what last bread. Last bread you named fifteen. The breads. rolls from Wingstop. Oh, there's one more. The biscuits from KFC. Okay, got <laughs> I was thinking the same thing. Not the ones from Popeyes. I don't like the Popeyes ones that much. Oh, I know. No, I disagree. I like the ones from Popeyes. <laughs> I don't know if it's like it's not bread. I don't think that. I don't think. I think. I think Dave I mean, Killer yeah, Bread just asks about mix. sliced bread, they, not 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 muffins, it is just, not biscuits. It is just powder that they put in. Um, in uh, that they mix with water and yeah. like put in like an oven. So yeah, <clears throat> I want sliced bread, but my 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 favorite bread would be cornbread. So not cornbread not is quite very sad. good. It's, it would be sloppy. Yeah, all cornbread should have honey and sugar in it, and I'll yeah. die on that hill. <laughs> honey with bread is just. Fucking amazing. Yeah. Yeah. My my um, grandmother's from the South, and mm-hmm. my dad um, <clears throat> had a lot of like, I don't know, just like, like a lot of cornbread without, and a lot of okra, and a lot of all just oh, terrible man. shit. And then I was like, no, I'm going to do honey and all mine. <laughs> and when we got sick recently, he's like, here's some soup and some cornbread. I'm like, yay. And I, I was like, ugh. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, why is there fucking sugar in here? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Those are breads that I like. I like, uh, yeah, those are good breads. Yeah, sloppy breads. Except for when you make me a grilled cheese and it's got grains in it. Come on. Grains are good for you. Mm. Yeah, they are. They're good for you and more importantly, good for her. But baby, you yeah. like grains? She kicked me. She did. No, she didn't. Stop <laughs> gaslighting no, she did. us. <laughs> no, she I think, no, so that means she likes bread yeah. with grains in it. Yeah, she can hear us. Watch. Mm. Wake up. How rude. You like the neighbor on top stomping your feet on the floor. She, Wait, the she fuck freaking up. kicks me whenever she wants. She can wake up a little bit. Say hi. <laughs> All right. Our last question comes in from Marion. Yeah. She's one of your D&D characters. Uh, uh, Lazarus. Uh, That's what I'm playing. Because I just got him back. Yeah. I will choose Jace. Oh. Okay. Which one? Yeah, you can choose Craig's, one Jace. Craig's, Craig's Jace. Jace. Okay. That one's pretty Hot. fucking slappy. Yeah. Give them a... Mo- Do you see hot? Yeah. Give yeah. them a modern makeover and describe how you would dress and style themselves in our world. Also, hi, Spencer. Chase uh, wears... Not, hi, man. Those shoes. <laughs> those shoes be, be, be fly. Is, yeah. yeah, those shoes on Jace right now. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'd be new boot goofing. <laughs> you, you do. You do. <laughs> um, Jace probably wears boots with the fur... No, <laughs> he wears boots. Um... He probably wears like, I would say, a probably jeans, and if not jeans, mm-hmm. then like khakis. Yeah, and then khakis with those boots. I would say he has like a million different t-shirts that say random fucking shit on them. Like he probably has one that says like, "I love gaming," and then another one that says, <laughs> oh, gross. That says like, "I eat ass." So like like a bunch of different shit like that. Well, um, respectable at least. Yeah. He probably has like a septum piercing, Ooh. and Damn. a. I think he would he would go between wearing like a blazer and a jean jacket depending on the day. Mm. Um, and he's got a bunch of rings. That's pretty cool. And probably uh and probably like uh, bracelets. And a fake tan. <laughs> Easily. I like that you specify a fake tan. Oh, and then you just have a real tan. No, no, it's no, no, a no. fake one. I mean, maybe he would get a real one eventually, but he probably has like a like a fake tan. But he doesn't look orange. Right. Like it's just like there enough to be like that's a fake tan. Question: Does he self tan with like the lotions, or does he go to one of those like places and sit in like a? No, no, no. He does a lotion. He does lotion? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's not that much of a degenerate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Um, and then he probably does uh, sometimes bleach his hair. Like, does he add color or just... Uh, no, he just bleaches it. He just it. bleaches it? And he's like, this is from the sun. Yeah, <laughs> obviously. 
Um, and I, I would say he probably wears sunglasses a lot, like if he's mm. outside, especially like aviators. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's wow. exactly what yeah. I expected. Yeah. Does, does knock him down a point on the hot scale. Yeah. He's kind of like a, he's kind of like Jay, Jace in our world would kind of be like a fuck boy. Yeah. Like he's not Scanlan level, no. but he's like, he's kind of like, he was in a, ah, he was in a frat. Ah, ah. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. But then he dropped out of college. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. He got bored. Um, I can only imagine uh, Philip in like athletic wear. Like, uh, yeah, that makes sense. Like gray mm. joggers and like, uh, mm. like a, just like a plain black shirt. Really nice Nikes. Yeah. He's got, he, 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 uh, the Air Jordans. Yeah. 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 He, he spends the most on the shoes. I think that's, that, that, that's mm-hmm. where, it, where it's at. Um, and he probably has a lot of tattoos. Yeah. Yeah. A Jace probably has like two or three and they're stupid. They're like a skull and crossbones. And like, like stick and poke? Uh, yeah. And like... It just um, says like mom. Mom. Yeah. yeah. He probably has that on his ass. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Easily. No, he's got he's got the words your name stick stick poked on his ass. Oh, no, he has a tramp stamp that says lucky you. <laughs> <laughs> Above his ass crack? Above his ass crack. Wow. He definitely wow. does. Wow. Yes. Yes. 100%. I give him that point back just because that's funny. Can I play, hey, yeah, can I play Jason Cyberpunk? <laughs> if you want to, you can play Jason. You can play what you want. Do it. Okay, I will. Yeah, Lazarus. Uh, so you know this that girl. I mean, you don't have it because it could be curated to me. There's this girl on TikTok that where there was a bunch of like future tech mm-hmm. type stuff. Very cool. It's all just like a bunch of like random cool. buckles and stupid that's shit that you don't definitely don't need. That's awesome. Um, actually, drew, when I drew my rendition of Lazarus and sent it to Siri, mm-hmm. I drew him in that kind of like futuristic type stuff, mm. and then she brought it back down, which was very cool. That's yeah. very cool. Very cool. <clears throat> I just thought he'd be like a paraplegic. Yeah, he'd be he'd have a wheelchair. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I guess that's true. He doesn't have robotic <laughs> limbs. Yeah, okay. I mean, he, he he'd have those really cool like. Like the Olympic athlete, like blade ones. Yeah, those things are really cool. The ones that are like bouncy. That mm-hmm. like that one that lady has, like, which like hand carves all of her prosthetics. Oh, that's that'd very be cool. really cool too. That's really yeah. cool. Seen the like the, Guys, the arm ones that car, like open and close. Lazarus gets stuck yeah. in the handicap this... zone. He does. Yeah, he does. Jace also does, but he's not supposed to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you park and the Minus five has points. to like Minus go for five points. He's like. I was about to say, why do you think Jace is hot? He's See, stupid. No, specifically, Jace and Craig's game was hot, but Jace and your game was a menace. Attractive, but I mean, yeah, he, he, terrible. I killed myself. You did like, kiss quite a few times. And I think yeah. only, I think only once. I think really, generally, you only the game once. that we kissed was the same game I turned into a T Rex. That's true. Yeah, but that's all right. Yeah, <laughs> all right, fair yeah, enough. In yeah. In your game, Jason would be like, go do this. Why? Because I said so. Bye. Yeah. He's got he's got stuff to do. Maybe if I would have gotten to know him, I would have loved him more. Yeah. 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 The Jace that we know has real emotional depth. Yeah. Jace always dies. That's true. He does. No. So. No matter what. No matter what. My guy is dead. Mm-hmm. So he probably like he probably lives a few more weeks and then you find him in like a back alley. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> I buy some aftermarket yeah. tanning cream. Yeah. You don't know how he died either. There's like five different ways. It's like, okay, there's a bullet wound. There's also head trauma. He also has so much drugs in his system. And, <laughs> an both, and all of his his legs are broken, but his toes are. And that's kind of weird. And his kidneys are missing. So we don't really know what killed him. <laughs> it looks like he's been living with his kidneys gone for a while, actually. So to be honest, who it's fucking, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a medical miracle he made it this far. <laughs> Oh, he left a note. Maybe he committed suicide. No, he didn't commit suicide. It just says, God damn, these kidney stones hurt. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have kidneys anymore. Means. I told him to take it out. Yeah, yeah. And then he said, and then at the bottom it says, please find Piss Weasel. <laughs> Aw, Piss yeah. Weasel. Oh. Yeah. God damn, guys. Look at that. This episode's way too fucking long. Well. Yeah. That's right. Balls. 